So these last couple of days, last couple of weeks, last couple of months, I look back and I see that my integration time is becoming vaster and vaster. When I was doing the CAP sessions last October, November, I was doing them once a week, every week, sometimes two, three times a week. And after each CAP session, I felt so high in energy, so like full with energy, so sensitive, so, yeah, uh, alive, vibrant. And looking back on it, I understand how I was able to actually do so many sessions without it being too overwhelming for me. Because a lot of, well, one of the CAP facilitators says you should do it once a week, maybe once every two weeks. But back then, I was just like, I was so drawn to it because I wanted to go deeper and deeper and deeper and to, to strengthen that connection with, with life, with uh, life energy, feeling alive. It was like a chasing being alive, right? So if I would do that before through people, circumstances, food, um, mm, sex, all these kind of things, now all of a sudden it was through energy work <laughs> that I would do it. But so feeling so much energy, feeling so much love, feeling so much uh, connection to yourself, and also being so sensitive afterwards. I was eating a lot of meat. I was eating meat every day or every two days. And I was eating like three, 500 grams meat per day. And what I would notice is, it would ground me or it would like, it would dampen the effect of the energy. If the energy is like a, a fire that's blazing, like, like if I eat some meat, the fire would like calm down to this like, small fire or it would become very very condensed and i notice that as well now the sessions now that i do in camp is usually about two three four weeks in between each session because after because i've been following a very vegetarian kind like uh, lifestyle now a lot of smoothies a lot of like uh, potatoes and fruits and uh, all that fruits yogurts all that kind of, like very very easy to digest stuff so i feel very light and the more the more sessions that i do like honestly my sessions become have become so so more vibrant so more uh, clear and visually detailed and i've become more perceptive of the subtleties in each session of the energetic flow of embodiment in the body there's a there's a, a an effect a feeling of unearthing it's like i'm almost like floating sometimes feels that way now sex is very grounding uh masturbation is very grounding um also sp spending time in nature walking on the bare feet is very grounding Swimming, going to sauna, uh, riding, doing, um, doing work with emotions, um, communicating with people. Uh, yeah, being involved, just being involved like, through some, doing something with your hands. Now, I noticed that in between each session now, there's such an upsurge of energy. Like it's ridiculous how much energy I feel just flowing and how much there's available. And also how sensitive I am, how sensitive I am to what I say, to what I feel, to what is around me. There's a sensitivity. So whenever I wake up every morning, there's two things I say. Like the first things that I say is like, there's a God, I ask for his help. And then I say, all glory be to you, O Lord that I may be of infinite service. And whenever I say these things, my heart, it wells up. There's like this, after I've said it, there's this energetic resonance after saying that, like, it's like inside is like, oh, this feeling of like, 
expansion like energy and yeah sometimes I get like these these streams that come through me or I'm just like in my heart center and I feel information coming I sometimes I, f I hear like this sushing sound like shh and I just feel like there's information coming through there's a kind of alignment or kind of uh, vibration that that I'm connecting to and that's like guiding me towards a certain kind of path and then I get like these signs uh, through people or through messages and honestly sometimes it feels so so high because I'm just like floating and I just feel like in this in this lightness this 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 floating through everything and there's this feeling of like whoa I need to slow down because it's moving so fast and my mind my brain needs to integrate whatever's changing whatever's occurring and uh, lately I've started to eat meat again like little by little I just had this impulse to just eat meat like in the past I've had periods where I had a judgment about it you know uh, animals and meat and shouldn't do that and it's not good for you and this and that but mm, now i'm in this place where i just understand this is the body's need and this is just what the body's asking i'm not i'm not giving any meaning to to the act of eating to the act of eating meat to the act of nourishing the body with meat uh, it's just the body wants this and it's okay, let's eat this. And what I noticed is, I noticed this so much. These last weeks, I felt so high in energy because I've had this, this connection with, uh, with someone new who I, who I uh, met through YouTube. And then we had like this, this deep friendship and this deep love that's like just emerging. It's like all of a sudden, apparently, in my heart, there's this flow of love that's just streaming and it's connected to her and there's this whole pull of not pull but longing just like to share to be to explore to to embrace and to um to fall like mm -hmm, just to fall and sometimes things come out of my heart like things that i say or i do that i don't fully understand but it just feels very real it feels very like this is what life is longing for and what life wants to unfold. So <laughs> some days it's very, very strong. And the days that I eat meat, I just notice the moment I eat meat, the energy is like, if it's like a fire, all of a sudden it's like, it's like the fires are like becoming less, less intense and it's just like burning a small fire. So the energy becomes um, a bit more, a bit more still, a bit more calm, a bit more like, okay, okay. So all of a sudden, if I have like an intention or something that I do that I say, the sensitivity is still there, but the energetic like reaction or the energetic movement that occurs, it's like more subtle. If, you know, if, if I pinch myself, and I feel it like in immediately. It's like after, it's like I feel the energy in myself when I'm on a vegetarian diet, very like like that, very like very bright, very very direct contact contact. But on the days that I meet, I eat meat, and the sec especially the, the second and the third day afterwards, especially the, the day afterwards, it's like the energy it, it becomes. I have to squeeze harder or I have to feel deeper in to feel that energy, to feel the connection with the energy or to be able to, to perceive it. Um, yeah, so it's like it's, if, if, the, if the energy is streaming and, and it's, like, it's like just going, 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 going and flowing through me, when I eat meat, it's like the flow is like becoming less intense and just slower, slower, slower. And also like I feel like okay I'm I'm much less into the flow and I'm just like okay 
I become heavier and I start to move a little bit more um, slowly. So for me, I guess it helps me in a bit of ground, I think. Uh, yeah, I had that feeling, but I can be wrong. This is my subjective experience. And I, I do feel a small like disconnect, disconnect from the energy but in reality, I know there is no disconnect. There's only a sensitivity that is more, more, more bright or less bright. Um, so yeah, in a way, I guess intuitively, I feel drawn to eat a little bit of meat sometimes, just so that th this whole process is not too overwhelming for me. Because right now, like doing a lot of sessions, <laughs> it it could be a lot, it could be a lot. Uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out, just trying to go through it. Um, yeah, this whole embodiment process is so, so delicate. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it will be like after the Pranic Retreat because in, uh, in August, I've planned this retreat, uh, it's end of August in France, to, um, to spend a week with a pranic teacher and to reprogram all the cells in the body to live off prana. So I wonder how that, that how my experience will change after that. <laughs> I really wonder, really wonder. I'm really looking forward to it. In a way, I like be f this feeling of feeling unearth unearthed, like almost like I'm floating. It's a nice feeling. It's very, it's very chill. It's very pleasant. But you know, like feeling the heaviness, feeling embodiment, it also it gives this this edge, this flavor to life, to this texture. It like I also like it. And sometimes when I when I lose that, there's almost like this this feeling or this sadness that I'm almost losing touch with my humanity, because I feel like not above it, but it feels almost like I'm not um, I'm not being being dr dr dragged down by by it. I can just stay afloat above it. It's a, it's a very interesting process. Um, yeah. Somebody said to me very recently, uh, you're not the Igor that, that I knew. You're not my Igor. And when I was said to me, and I was looking, I was looking, looking that person in the eyes, and I was like, just notice, just realizing, like, wow, it's not that I changed, it's just my embodiment, my, my energetic uh, expression, my energetic flow is now flowing and moving in a different way. Whereas before, it would be very like connected to that person. Now it's it's its own thing, and uh, it was very interesting for me to to hear that, to feel that, to take it in, and to understand like, wow, I'm just I'm moving on. I'm moving beyond this uh, this what we what we had, and all of a sudden there was this reflection. Yeah, I am not the same. And I wonder, <laughs> like this is so freaking scary. How far can you go beyond yourself where there's no self anymore? There's just a quality. There's just an experience and not a subject object relationship. Because right now I still I still do have a subject object experience like I am experiencing this, 
I am surrounded by all of that. There's still that, uh, that perception sometimes occurring. Sometimes not. But, uh, wow. <laughs> the thing my friend said. Um, so, one of my friends, he, um, he had like a whole, whole experience of just, how can I describe this as, uh, so he has watched, he had done CAP, so his energy was active, then he was watching a lot of non-duality videos, and so then he, he had like a, a shift, an energetic shift, I don't know if it's an energetic shift, but in his own experience, was before he had an experience of himself living his story and now there is no self but just whatever is arising and ex and that being expressed and experienced there's no attachment or clinging anymore to to things and i notice it while talking to him yeah and what's interesting is when he shared this his whole his whole paradigm shift his whole shift to another friend my other friend that i was observing him very 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 closely he was he was looking at him and he was like dude it sounds like you you <laughs> you checked out <laughs> well not like you checked out but it sounds like you went into passive mode <laughs> so this this friend of mine, uh, a couple of years ago, in 2012-13, we were playing uh, Grand Theft Auto online. So Grand Theft Auto, it's like, a, yeah, it's a very popular game, and we were playing it online. And online, you you know, you can gather in this sandbox, in this, uh, this huge open world, and, yeah, basically <laughs> do all kinds of things. And I remember, like... We'd sometimes get this bat and hit each other with a bat, you know, just like out of nowhere, just to, just to annoy each other, I guess, or like run over each other with a car. <laughs> and I remember sometimes when we were like, okay, okay, that was the last time. Let's let's go do let's go do something together, like a, a mission or a, some kind of challenge, or let's taunt other players. So out of not, nowhere, like team up against other players. I remember I was doing that and then sometimes we would like we would taunt somebody else and then we would betray each other in the sense like out of nowhere like start to start to uh, bat each other with a bat with a bat and sometimes me or him or another guy we would feel like so um, annoyed like ah oh, just I don't want to I don't want to die for a while. I just like, okay, I just want to, I'm tired of this. Or because you kept losing the whole time or because it was just this, too much. So I remember, I remember that there was this mode, passive mode. And what happens when it, you're in your passive mode, it's like all of a sudden your character becomes impenetrable so the car doesn't doesn't run you over bullets don't 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 hit you the bad doesn't hit you you're just impenetrable to to anything you can just walk around walk through life through through the world and not lose lose life points not get hit not uh, get damaged <laughs> and when he said that it was so funny it was so funny i remember when I was in school and I, I'd missed uh, a practice, a rehearsal. And my teacher was so upset. And he was like, he was expressing his, uh, his upset. And I was practicing being aware back then. I remember I was like doing the, the thing that Eckhart Tolle talks about, like, how would you know that your hand was there if, if you, without looking how how would you know that your hand is there without looking at it 
So when you ask that, you then start to feel your hand. And then you can expand that feeling to your whole body. And then you can feel the energetic um, field of your whole body. And just stay in that feeling. And when you do that, when you focus on that feeling for a very long time, it's like whatever's happening on the outside, it doesn't affect that. It goes through that. It's like you're just like transparent to it. So I remember him expressing in front of other students at me. And I was just staying in that, in that energy field. And he was like expressing, expressing, expressing. Like, yeah, like really like with, with a... With a with a very strong kind of energy, very direct at me. But I was not reacting, I was just responding. And I was like looking at him, staying in that feeling. It just felt so safe. And just like, is that so? He's like, yes, it is so, because blah, 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 blah. And looking back, I think like, was I being passive in that moment? And I don't I don't think it's a, it's, it's it's passive. I think it's like... You're still sensitive to life. You're still alive. You feel aliveness. But you're just not hooked in the psychological uh, agreements or the psychological stories being played out. So you you don't agree to, to fulfill certain expectations. So you don't take under pressure on yourself. And you don't contract because, because you put yourself in some kind of position. There's a, there's a kind of transcendent, transcendent quality. It's just like, life is there, you're alive, everything's unfolding, but you're not actively deciding or actively choosing. You're discovering. It's like everything is a revelation, and even your own choice is a revelation because you see something, and then instead of thinking about it, you can't think about it, but instead of thinking, you resonate with it, you feel with it. And then out of that, like a revelation comes like a knowing, like I need to do this, or I need to do that, or I have I have two choices, this or that. And then you go with whatever feels, uh, what, whatever happens. But it's it's very interesting. It doesn't feel passive, but it may look passive to somebody who's... Uh, who's always thinking and always projecting and always analyzing and always trying to find the best possible outcome and the best possible decision. So, yeah, it just, it was so funny. It's, I remember some teacher talked about it. It's like, first, you want to transcend your humanity. Like you wanna, you, you wanna escape it into the transcendence. But then once you're in the transcendence and you're free from attachments and you're free from suffering, you want to involve yourself as much as possible and actually get as attached as possible because that's the flavor, the texture, the experience, the the changes, the colors, the um, the palette of, of life's... Uh, stimulation of life's uh, dimension of feeling alive all these dimensions of feeling alive being being in in be, loving life loving life basically yeah um, yeah so it's very interesting for me <laughs> anyway just wanted to share that. Uh, have a good day, everybody, and uh, enjoy yourself.